Hi, everybody. I'm Romy. For those of you that don't know who I am, um, we meet every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock Mountain Time, and it is called our Team Sizzle. So if you hear someone referencing Team Sizzle, that this is what they're referencing. So I've had this topic running around in my head for the last, well, it's probably been months that it kind of comes and goes and and so it's not, I don't want to get into, um, I just want this to be more thought provoking and um, maybe some conversation in, in the midst of it. So the topic is, if you didn't see it, it's giving your leader grace. And um, the leader that I'm referring to is your upline leader or the person that enrolled you or the, you know, in that regard. So when I was thinking about what I was going to talk about in this, I was thinking about when I was pregnant with my oldest daughter, my first child, Aunt Lateran. And um, so as, as moms, I think most of us are moms on here, um, and dads, new dads, as we get ready to have children, and we start to think about... Um, that life that is that is forming all the 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 different emotions and thoughts and and all of that start to come about you know is is my baby going to be healthy i was very very young when i got pregnant with latern and so um it was the um the worry of what will my what will my baby look like and you know all these different things will you know will everything be just right and then you have your next child and the same kind of thing comes about. And as new parents, we don't have anything to fall back on as new parents, except for the, um, the example that we have from our, our parents or the family or you know whoever, whoever we were raised by, that's the example that we have. And no example is perfect. And um, so in our, in our business, I, I think quite often about the correlation between me as a mom and me as a leader. And so we put these high expectations on ourselves and we want to be the very best mom. We want to, you know, we don't want to fail our kids. We want to be that, that end all be all mom. And as our kids start to grow and then they become adults, then we can look, we look back and, and we see the mistakes that we've made because we do the very best that we can, but we make mistakes. And that's just, that's reality. We make mistakes. And so when I, when I think about um, our, as in our leadership role, it's the same, it's the same kind of thing. And it's the, uh, we were talking just a little bit ago about energy. And um, so I want to be very sensitive up on this topic. So I don't want this to be, I just want to be very sensitive about this. So we have some leaders that, you know, you, they, there's great relationships between the leaders and the teams and, 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 different things like that. But there's also people that fall through the cracks. And so as I started building my business, it was, it was small and I wanted to make sure that I did everything right and make sure that everybody was taken care of and the anxiety started to kick in because all of a sudden it just was big. And I knew logistically it was impossible for me to take care of everyone. And, um, and that's just my personality in that. But what, what I think about is that this is new for all of us. I mean, I guess one of the, one of the questions that I wanted to ask everybody as we, as we get started is that, is, is there anybody on here that has ever had a network marketing career before doTERRA? Has anybody ever had a leadership role before they did doTERRA? What was that leadership role, Iris? 
I was the assistant to the Dean of Students on a college campus for a few years and um, led the Student Activities Board and several other things. And I've been a leader all my life. Awesome. Well, that's a good point to Matt. So I think that we are, we are all leaders in our own right in that regard, whether we have a business or not, whether we have a large team, a small team, whether we're just getting started, we are still leaders because leaders are, it's a, it's a form of influence. And so we, we are in that position of influencing people. But I think um, one of the things that I, that I think we need to really pay attention to is that and it still is, we're still working our way into, we will always be evolving into the, into the kind of leader that we were designed to be. And we will never arrive at that. I think that we just, each of us have the different gifts and the strengths. And if we, if we focus on that and move forward in that regard, then we can be the very best leader possible, just like we're the very best mom possible. And, um, and we make mistakes in that and, and we do good things in that. And so one of the things that I was thinking about on this topic is that as we move forward as a leader, um, and we and we have those hard relationships with our upline and our and and our leaders. Sometimes those are hard relationships. Sometimes we feel like we're alone. Sometimes we we can feel insignificant. Sometimes we feel like that person is not giving us what we want. But the number one thing that that person gave us is the opportunity to do DoTerra. So the the leader the leader role in our upline to, in order to have our upline or our leader be involved in our business that is not that is a that's like a privilege that's a that's the icing on the cake that is not a requirement for the success of our business and so when i talk about giving our leader grace we want to make sure that we give our leader the grace that we want to be given and so as we are all moving forward and learning this, this path and this journey, and we make mistakes, it's, I think it's, it's really important to, number one, always assume good intent, always make sure that we have a, a forgiving heart, and just really be on purpose about keeping those lines of communication open. So. Natalie Rigby is my upline, and um, and I will always, always, always hold her in a position in my life of of importance and esteem. As I was growing my business, Natalie had some had some stuff in her life, just like we have things in our lives as we move forward, where we kind of work our way through that. And there were times, and this is in absolutely no way no way whatsoever is this meant to be interpreted that I am bad mouthing Natalie in any way because I love her, I respect her, and I honor her. But we are also humans and we have, we have, everybody has different, um, different relationships with the people in their business. Just like mother and daughters, I love LaTerran, but I guarantee there's times she wants to I guarantee I'm not even going to say, <laughs> you know, the mother daughter relationship that can be very, very sticky. Sometimes it's dysfunctional. Sometimes there's no communication, but we still love each other. And so that's where I really, I really correlate the, the same with the leadership role is that we love each other. Lindsay and Jennifer, they, they joined me in the very beginning. I love them. I love them like they were my my daughters. We do not talk that much. They are independent and there are times where I have fallen down on the job as a leader. I totally own that. Totally own that. 
and but there is also when we when we offer support and we want to help the people on our team it the the lines of communication have to go both ways so as we move forward and our teams grow we really need to give ourselves some grace and we need to be able to we need to be able to quickly recognize okay that was a mistake or you know forgive ourselves and then figure out how and what we're going to do to move on in that regard whether the relationship needs to be repaired whether there needs to be some communication whether a crucial conversation needs to be made but the whole point in that is that the amount of grace that we give our leader is the amount of grace that you're going to get as a leader so i i want to make that very very it's super super um important for me because i believe from the beginning as we started the business i had a no strife rule and um and i will tell you as as large as our team is we have an amazing amazing record when it comes to no strife are there issues you bet there's going to be issues we're all human but when we when we really focus on having that no strife and um and assume that good intent and really keep those lines of communication open and make the relationship the number one priority over the business aspect of it, then your then the, the team dynamic is going to feel differently. We are going to we're going to feel and be more willing to um, to forgive and to open up those lines of communication and to and to repair where they're where things need to be repaired but the main thing is just just know we we reap what we sow and if we are in a position of unforgiveness and we are resentful or we we are hanging on to things that that um are not healthy when it comes to how we feel about our upline i guarantee you you're going to be in the same position down the road someone is going to feel that same way about you and so um this is i think that's i mean i don't have i don't have anything big and long about this topic i think it's pretty pretty much common sense it's a heart topic it's um it really is it's a it's it's you guys you guys are you guys are um naturally kind and and you guys are just awesome and so it this isn't this isn't a topic because i think that because something's happening this is a topic that i think um needs to be talked about and just awareness needs to be had because it's it's there it's a it's a real thing i i see the facebook ads where you know it's i mean people are promoting they're paying for a facebook ad about dogging the upline seriously that cannot be good that can't be good that's not good marketing that's not good when you start off and you're advertising in a negative context and you start off on that that can't be good so it's a matter of just be aware and and pay attention to where you're where you're putting your energy and 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 who you're joining up with within that way when it comes to trainings especially it in and it is it is the concept of firing your upline by all means your success is in your hands i am your cheerleader i am no more responsible for your success and I am responsible for your failure. So, but it is a matter of the, the energy aspect of it. Just jump in there and take control and take ownership of your own business. And if you have an engaged upline with you that is right there and coaching and mentoring and is running with you, then praise the Lord. If you don't, praise the Lord because it helps you to realize your strength. There are times where I have been, I've had my 
my life is not perfect. I have an awesome life. Just saying. I have an awesome life. Emotionally and physically for me, I have to work extra hard sometimes in order to stay on track and maintain. And so do I disappear? Yeah, I do. Well, I just had a conversation with my leaders on Monday and the, and the tears were there. It's like, I'm sorry, I was gone. But I am always here in heart and I am always here. If someone needs someone, I am I'm there. I might not be in the forefront, but I'm with you all the way. But it doesn't matter if I'm here or not. It doesn't matter if we cancel the sizzles forever. Doesn't matter if I quit doTERRA you guys can still move forward and be successful. It has absolutely nothing to do with me and your team and the people that your leaders, their success has nothing to do with you and what you do. We get to, we get to love on our team. We get to support, offer tools, all of that, and give everyone grace and assume good intent and forgive. If you have if you have resentments, if you have anything like that, it's super easy. Just forgive and then move on because it'll just be easier. So, but I would I would uh, I would love to have a conversation about this. If you guys have questions, if you have comments, this really is something that I think is good. Yes. I just wanted, I wanted to say something because this really is an amazing topic. I, I mean, it really resonates. It resonates with me because uh, we started with, um, I just found doTERRA online. And so I went through that whole struggle of one, I just was pushing going through it. And then I was like, wait, there's people to help. And we found your site and we were looking at everything. And Jessica and Lindsay are my upline. and neither were active and so we went through the whole oh we wish our upline was active oh we we, we you know what i mean like that whole um roller coaster of it but we also came to that real realization that that pushed us like they weren't super active so it pushed us like you said to find our own strengths and to right. own it and to you said before um to make it um do it with intent. Like if you're going to do this, you have intent and we did, and we just started embracing it. And then I think we realized something even more beautiful. One, you're right. This team, it just cultivates an amazing togetherness and love for each other and just a helping hand and help up and anybody down, like you just want to help everybody and just love them. And what I really truly realized literally, literally Romy and like the last three days is how amazing our upline is, even though they are not active, they are communicative. They are encouraging every time we get on the phone, they're willing to get on the phone. Um, they're willing to point me in the right directions. And they, like I, at first I thought, oh, that it wasn't what I need, but it was exactly, I think exactly what we needed just to know that they had us, like you said, had our back, even if it was from way back. And that, yeah. that has been an amazing um, feeling of gratification that we've gotten in the growth alone in the last couple of months has been tremendous and the personal growth I mean in our in our lives in our mental state and how we deal with it and talking to our downline very intentionally about loving others never when people come and say oh, I want to be on your team N no we'll be glad to help you and bring you into our Facebook group and teach you but no we don't take anybody else's people we'll let you grow where you're planted that um mentality knowing that what the Lord gives us is what we are intended to have and we don't need to take from anybody else and so that's that's a tremendous gift that this team has given us to to embrace awesome thank you You're welcome. Uh, that actually reminds me when I first started um, I I was 
I looked all over for some kind of a program. I, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Natalie said, you need to start a blog. I'm like, I have like literally, I had no idea what I was doing in any of this. Not to mention, I really didn't believe in the, the business model of network marketing to begin with. So I really started kind of behind the eight ball in that. And so as I was moving through this and trying to figure out what I was doing and all of that, I had the same, same kind of thing as some people do. I wish I would have landed on a different team. <laughs> because I would follow, I was following and I was following the Goddards at the time and they had this, they had the a system and I was like, oh, I wish I, I wish I was with that group. And like, seriously, I just got totally caught up in that. And then I ended up going to an event um, for the Trumans while well, we are on the Truman team. And it was like this huge eye opener for me is that I was exactly where I needed to be. Sorry, I'm totally going to cough. Oh. Oh, sorry about that. Major tickle. But um, but it was along those lines. You really, if you just kind of hang tight and do the bloom where you planted, yeah, there's some things that, that might be better suited, that we, we need something different. But then we just go out and find it. But in but the, the core of it, we are really where we want, where we are supposed to be, knowing that the Truman team is very heart centered and isn't um they they're just very heart centered. So that was very good for me. And it took a while and boy did I feel guilty about wishing that I wasn't on the Truman team. <laughs> But now I am like totally, totally grateful for that because I would rather have a team that is heart centered than a team that is jamming and pushing business and all of the stuff that just isn't me. That's, that is some people's strengths and they do well at it and, and more power to them, but that's not mine. And so it, we just kind of, we really, if we don't get caught up and get frantic and try and hurry up and make the change, we'll realize that in obedience and, you know, the action and really paying attention and listening to those little whispers and the promptings and all of that, we will know we, we are where we're supposed to be. And if we're not, God will say so. We'll know when to make that shift. So. <clears throat> Anybody else? Iris here, and I think that all through our upline, I can point out caring and compassionate qualities all the way down the list. And I don't know. I, I think that that comes from our executive board. And somewhere, some people kind of lose track of that part of doTERRA. Mm -hmm. And on our team, I don't think we have at all. It's one of the strongest caring bunch I've ever... I have never found any group as caring and compassionate as this group is. And I want to thank you all for that. Awesome. Thank you. I, I agree completely. We have the most amazing group ever. Um, but it's, it is, it goes back to that mom's pride stuff. And we are, you know, nobody is more proud of our kids than we are. And nobody thinks our kids walk on water like we do. We know that we know that that you know the the dirt behind the scenes, but we still our kids still walk on water. We may want to cuff them upside the head sometimes. However, but um, I've had I've had people say that our team is special, 
And, um, and at first when I started hearing that from other leaders, I would, I would think, oh, they're just saying that. But that has remained a consistent thing over the years. So I've been doing this seven years now. Oh, Romy, you froze. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we heard. I've been doing this for seven years now. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, so it's no longer just somebody saying nice words to me. These are words coming from leaders that are all over the place, all different levels in doTERRA. And they recognize that you guys as a whole are special and you, um, you operate from a place of excellence and serving and just loving people. And that is, that is recognized and, and it's noticed. So. <clears throat> Anybody else? <clears throat> I'll go. Okay. I just want to say, I'm going to brag for a minute. I've never, ever, ever had that feeling where I wish I was on somebody else's team. <laughs> <laughs> ever. So I'm thankful for that. Um, it's funny, Iris mentioned in the chat that we were just having this conversation today, um, similar to this, that uh, I have people in my downline that complain about their downline or I have people in my downline that complain about their upline who is like my enroller, someone that I enrolled. Right. And I'm like, Oh, I'm sorry. You don't get along with this person or whatever. Like, you know, we were, we're friends and I'm sorry, they're not clicking with you or whatever. And yeah. Every time I'm just like, just wait, because when you become a leader, you're going to have someone having to tell you these stories, right? And you're going to have to advise them. And your advice is what's going to direct your business. Yeah. And some, in my six years with doTERRA, some very catty things have happened in my downline and my cross lines. And it, it just breaks my heart because Romy and I are not catty and I make it a point to not be catty. I don't know if I am using overusing that word with my <laughs> downline because doTERRA for me is about empowering those that feel not empowered. Those that don't even have empowerment in their vocabulary. And that was me. Romy came to me and said the exact things that I needed to hear at the time that made me feel like, it made me laugh. They made me feel like, there are things I always knew and felt about myself, but to hear someone else say them, and I'm, I'm, I'm referring to things like, you're a great teacher. I wanna teach from you. You should share this with other people. Um, just and just things that just floated my boat you know just like now i'm exaggerating no i'm just kidding but just <laughs> i don't know romy was patting me on the back where i look back and other people were tearing me down and saying like oh you don't you don't really want that dream you don't you know you can't quit your job because the next one next one's just going to suck as bad and things like that you know that's what i've been surrounded with but romy was like do what makes you happy be with people that make you happy. Don't be around people that, that frustrate you. Just, she was coaching me on the things that she was learning. I don't know. I'm rambling now, but give your leaders grace. <laughs> I don't have to give mine too much because I think my leaders are amazing. Um, but I guess what I wanted to get on to say is don't complain to your downline. Let the complaints go up to your upline because hopefully they can coach you to see a clearer path, to see what's really important, to see what really matters. 
And uh, yeah, I love tonight's talk. I didn't want to miss it because it was important. The topic was like, yes, give your leaders some grace, please. <laughs> We're doing our best to keep people from being catty. doTERRA is not catty. <laughs> That's right. It's way more fun when you're not catty. Yeah. Thank you. It's good to see your face and your Thank cute you. little one. Thank you. He finally quit screaming. <laughs> He's teething. Oils help. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Good to see you too, Romy. Anybody else? Oh. You already know how much we love you. <laughs> the feelings are totally neutral. So, I it really is a, a it really is the love of a mother that I feel for you guys. So it's it's I I know I make mistakes and I don't do it right, but I just want the very best for you guys and I want your dreams to come true and I just that's my heart's desire. So well, by giving us grace enough to be okay making mistakes, we can grow and learn through our mistakes. And if if we're continually going, I have to be perfect, we're in deep trouble. Well, and it's also like when we, you know, when we tell our kids not to do something because we don't want our kids to dive into that hole that we've done. It comes to the point where you just can't tell them don't dive into that hole because they have to, they just have to learn. We need to take a breath and just know that that's their journey and, and they, they get to learn and and make, make their own life in the way that they want to. So. All right, Kinsey, will you shut the recording off, please?